Hey everybody, uh, we're going to take a look at Demon Souls, Demon Souls, and in order to do that, I have uh, collected a posse, Jeff Gersman, Hello. and Dave Snyder. I, I, I know how to swing swords. Uh, because I don't know how much I can talk and play this game, but I will try. First thing I, I kind of want to show you guys, so I'm about, I played about six hours of this game, and you wouldn't know it, but, uh, so you're always online. This okay. Is, this is a weird game. But the uh, first thing I'll well, show you face. is this character creator, which is uh, he does not the, look most, happy. the most ridiculous character creator I've ever seen. So check this out. So not only can you pick your origin, right? Where are you from? Which is just <laughs> apparently a compass. You live on a compass. <laughs> uh, so let's just say we're from the north. But okay. So then check this out. How female or how it, male well, uh, do, uh, <laughs> do you want to be? We could be more female. Does that does I don't. <laughs> that female has some pretty broad shoulders. Do you want to be? Let's just, let's make an old female, right? You with me so far? No. I, I, yeah, I don't. I hear. Let's pick some different hair. Get, whoa. So all right. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So check this part out though. Look how look at the detail stuff you could do in here with like. They give you different colors for your skin pigment. Mm -hmm. uh, they give you colors for your uh, for every part of your face. So the bridge of your nose can be a different color. Yeah. All right. So it gets you. Can you make a clown? I haven't. I haven't. I once I saw all this, I was like, holy crap! I just let's just do random. But uh, dude, this is the stuff in here is ridiculous. She like sc she scares me. Can you do random? Just change. Uh, you're not gonna no. like it though. Uh, but it's a dude. It is no, a male character. It is a male character. Well, yeah. Face over to. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is... So here, here's the character creator. So this is pretty involved. It's kind of fun. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go pick a. Oh, so you get classes. I guess yeah. I'll sh show you this. So the classes basically just start you with these presets for all these stats. Uh huh. Uh, which they don't really explain very well. You might want to look them up in the manual. Like Faith, I'm not really sure what it is. Luck gives you more item drops. Magic, Dexterity, Strength, Endurance are kind of, uh, kind of self-explanatory. Uh, but you can change your stats later on by leveling up. So this is just a preset that will start you off in the game with these certain things and some certain equipment. So let's go back and let's, uh, let's go to one of my characters. Uh, one of my favorite characters. Faith gets you by the... Uh the the Grail uh, Faith thing is in the end of Indiana Jones. That's 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 how um, Faith works. Punishment man. Whoa. So uh, let's go with Vintastica, who uh, is a, a magician. So you name all your characters just off yourself? Sometimes depends. Vintastica. Uh, so like I said, you're logged in all the time. So there are other people playing this game that are also logged into the server. So you'll see like ghostly versions of them running uh -huh. around and you can't really interact with them directly right off the bat but they can leave notes for you on the ground in this kind of like Mad Libs style system. So right? it's not just free text, it's like, no. I think you should run to the <laughs> north here. Yeah, like, like beware of blank up ahead and it's like, what? Your message has been recommended. Great, maybe that was the message that was like, dude, turn it off. <laughs> this game's too hard. So basically what I'm trying to explain this what quickly. What is fantastic? Yeah. Quickly, uh, magician. All right. Uh, so I'm dead right now. I'm in. I'm dead. I'm trying to stop a big demon, the demon's soul. Stop this big demon from collecting all these souls. I'm currently dead, and if you can see in the upper left, my health is capped at about half. Okay. Because I'm dead. In order to be not dead, I need to beat the boss of this dungeon. Right. Or later on, after that, I can enter other people's games and complete objectives to not be dead anymore. But I can't do that now because I don't have the did stones. You, did you start off dead? You don't have the stones or you don't have the stones? <laughs> well, Vintastica definitely doesn't have the stones. I, mean, I slid that thing all the way to female. Oh, okay. But you died. You die or, off the bat. It's part okay, of the story. Oh, I yeah. got you. All right. Now uh, I got they, it. they kill you and drop you all here. Right. Uh, so this is a message that uh, somebody left. <laughs> Which, oh, you know, man. yeah, you'll see that a lot. So we could leave a message. Uh, and this is the system for leaving messages. So basically... I like the, the asterisk because it seems like giant. it's cursing. <laughs> Don't go forward without... <laughs> without Giant Bomb. You'll need a soul level of... <laughs> uh, so what should we say? We should Use Giant Bomb on next enemy. <laughs> 
Uh, use large swords oh. on the next enemy. That's always a good idea. So, <laughs> so you don't a, get to free write stuff. No, this is all. So that's another dude up Which there. Which that lets them work at cross region, like almost like a Fantasy Star Online kind of way of, you know, in Japan that still plays because you're not entering any text. And also, like, I would never leave a message if I had to enter text because it would take way too long. Right? Oh, I totally would. So, oh, God. Oh, man. So here's Where did that a, guy come from? Roll, run. He, here's the combat. Now I'm locked onto that guy by clicking the stick, or I can unlock onto guys. The good thing about locking onto guys is when you use your shield, you always face the guy. If you're not locked on, like I'm running away, and that's bad. You don't want to have your back to dudes. So basically, I'm just going to try Who's and kill these dudes. At? You're cutting your message. Yeah. What are you doing? They don't like it. They're not going to recommend it. I thought you were a mage. Use your mage powers. So the second bar on the upper left there is my mana, yeah. which does not regenerate. Okay. So once I... Through the entire level? Uh, you have to use items to get it back. This game uses a lot of mechanics that were crafted in 1990 like not regenerating health and not regenerating mana. This game is hard. Uh, so I'll see if I find any blood spots on the ground. And blood spots are basically where other people have died. So you can kind of see sometimes that there's a hard part coming up. And here's a blood spot. So a blood stain. So we'll see this guy fight a dude and just probably die. It's like, hey, guess what? There's dudes hiding back there. Oh. What? How would he have died that quick? He was that because it only shows you the last few seconds yeah. of their existence. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. I'm just gonna use some more fire. Let's just use up all the fires. So I don't want to die. Gosh darn it! Let's see what this message says. Beware the horde. So the messages are sometimes useful and most of the time not really that useful. They'll be like, hey, it, use fire on the guys Well, up it ahead. seems like the whole system is predicated on the concept of you oh. have been here before and now you are warning people. Yeah. You well, know? I kinda, Which, I, it's going to happen a lot. I kind of like that your fireball didn't necessarily work. Like, it, it's not going to auto... No. Like, you have to you still kind of aim it a little yeah. bit. Uh, I don't know. That looks kind of fun. Oh. Oh. Now you are almost dead. Yeah. So Come on, Betty. Use some of your crescent moon grass. Come on. Chug, chug those potions. So you can see at the, uh, you can see when I kill guys in the lower right there, I'm gaining souls. Yes. Uh, now that is basically, hey, this is where I died last time. That is my blood stain. So if I can get to there, I will get back the souls I lost when I died. So basically, when you die, you lose all the souls you have uh, collected. Up until that point. You touched well, the mark of death you, itself. You only got Bring more souls, soul. Slayer of Demons. You only got one soul. Uh, I think they I got a couple lost more. Soul. So the, the messed up part is, so you die, you lose all your souls. Souls are basically everything. As I have come to understand it, pretty much everything in the game. It's how you buy experience to get, or buy your next levels, like buy more vitality and stuff like that. It's what you use to buy items. It's what you use to repair your items. Does it make you a good dancer? No. No? That would be cool. No, then you need soul for that. Oh, soul. Yeah, that's uh, that's right. I got some more moon grass. But basically, it's weird because they do have these like weird kind of like emotes in the game. Uh, let's see if I can hold down X and bring it up. So I'm not really sure hurrah, who, do a hurrah. who I'm talking to right now, but... Yeah! You, if you push X, I can pretty much do that at, uh, at will. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to see how far I can make it, which I don't think will be very <laughs> I like far. your fear is so much that you always, even when walking, have your shield up. Oh, dude, it's it's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. So there are two attacks. There's this kind of light attack using L1 or R1, and then there's this stronger attack, and when I have my shield up, he does this, or she does this lunge forward with the uh, sword. It's kind of neat that the, your arms are mapped to the shoulder buttons. Yeah, I thought so that was kind of a, a cool idea. L1 is throwing up my shield. L2 is this actually this kind of parry. And the parry system can be kind of weird. And if you parry and then use R1 quickly, you can kind of do this quick takedown. Uh, but it's you die so quickly that if you miss that parry, you can be in big trouble. So I've kind of just gotten into the habit of keeping my shield up the whole time. Let's see this guy's message. Beware of the darkness ahead. And that. for good reason, because as I've been through this part about 27 times, there's a dude right there. 
So the dudes will always kind of be in the same spot. Mm. It's not like they're random, which is actually kind of good because again, you can get killed pretty quickly. So then, if you're doing a quick look, let's say you can actually make it more than you know five minutes through. I doubt it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how far I make it. Uh, I'm just assuming. So I kind of know where to go, but I don't know if that's going to really help me too too much here. So did you get this, uh, you've got some light on your belt. Did you actually pick up that item or nah. that was like start? Nah, that's just like my, so, uh... Looks like it's kind of set up some place to be a little dark and scary yeah. on purpose. and like you might just want to put the brightness up a bit because oh, atmosphere right. might not be worth it when you're risking losing all your souls. So you can also dodge uh, by hitting the circle button. There we go, look at that. Uh, also, blocking does not guarantee that you will uh, not take damage, depending on your shield. Oh, so you may still take some percentage yeah. of it. Uh, depending on the, the shield and your equipment. So, you never can pause the game because it's online all the time. Other people are playing kind of with you simultaneously. Yeah. So, like, right now I'm in the menus, but um, dudes could still attack me if they're around. So, check out my equipment. Uh, I can put another item in my other hand, like this mail breaker. Uh, if I put this bastard sword in, hey, so you I can need dual, to, you can dual wield. Yeah, I need to uh, uh, use it with two hands. But so I'm gonna put the mail. And you can even take one-handed swords and kind of put your shield down and. Yeah, totally. So, uh, and then you can get bows and stuff. You gotta equip your bolts and your, and your arrows. So and you'll get how are, how do you get to use the items? Is it based upon like your stats? Like you can only use this if you have strength and. You know, 20 the or items or the weapons? Basically armor or weapons or anything. So far I think the the one thing I've seen is that bastard sword where it's like, hey, you're not strong enough to use this with one hand. And I'm not sure if at some point you will be, uh, but I assume you would. The armor, I've only found one piece of armor and it just let me use it. My other mm -hmm. character is a knight. Uh, so inventory has all this other stuff. Uh, and then you have all these crazy stats for stuff. It looks like everything has a weight to it, too. Yeah, you, so you've got your equip burden, which is your armor, and then your item burden, which is how many items you have. If huh. you go above your equip burden, you can't run anymore, okay. which, is, which is a huge bummer. Uh, and everything has all these different, like, blunt defense, slash defense, pierce defense. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Is there? So is the actual... Fighting gameplay, like, do you, you know, level up your mage or something? Do you actually level up skills, or is it really just, you know? Uh, I haven't played too trigger. far with the magician yet, yeah. but like, after the first level, and this she's still on the first level here, you'll meet this person that you can spend souls to level up your person and put points into uh, into your stats. So like, you can level up your vitality, your intelligence, endurance, strength, all that stuff, and then your overall soul level will go up. Uh, so let's let's try and move forward a little bit more. Okay. Whoa, what was that? That's another player who's just kind of hanging oh, out. Look at that. So I've I've become real. Uh, You've run through this a bit, have you? Well, yeah, and uh, this this like lunging slash seems to be the way for me to go through things as quickly as I can. Uh, so here's I push triangle. She will switch into using this sword with two hands. This will break people's guards, uh, like dudes who have shield, which you should see in a little bit. But having Can you parry with it? Yes. Uh, but, oh, get behind you. Oh, Gosh, man. It. Yeah. That does take up quite a bit. Yeah, like, so. All the numbers and all the systems and stuff sound like neat ideas, but the part where you're playing it seems awful. I, I so I, I played a little bit of it yeah. uh, yesterday, uh, trying to, to kind of figure out what was going on, and, and I ended up skipping a lot of tutorials, so I, I wasn't really too sure what was going on. So all I really knew how to do was run around and cut stuff. Yeah, and I was like, man, this is really clunky. There's got to be a better way. But now that I've heard you talk about this game for a while, there is not a better way. No, you just you really you really touch the blood stain. Let's watch that dude die. Oh. oh. I'll be Where honest, I owe you this, and I'm really interested. Yeah. Oh, like, it, it seems like a lot of interesting ideas, but... Oh, that was a mess. Like, this just is. seems like... It's brutal. Gosh. Are, are you getting hit when yes, that happens? But there, there, there's an audience for brutal. Uh, there is. I mean, it's not yeah, for everybody. But at the same time, like, you know, brutal can be done in a way that is not frustrating. I, 
And a lot of this, like the, the the losing of souls and what you have to go through to get that stuff back, the the corpse running and, and like yeah, that it, stuff just seems like it was done by people that hate people who play games. Yeah. So basically, it is a game for like masochists. If you really, if you got something to prove to somebody, like yourself. Uh huh. Then like, <laughs> uh, so like that guy left a message. I was like, watch out because there's a dude right around this corner. Also, you can fall off ledges and take fall damage, so you gotta be real careful when doing Which things. In that like case, that. seems like it so would be you, die damage. If, yeah. you, if you die, you where do you you start die. at the beginning, all the way to the beginning of the level? Yes. There's no save point checkpoint system. Uh, right through. Later on on this level, uh -huh. you you will open a gate. And but, fight a boss. But we're not there yet. Where uh, my other character is, and I'll switch to that character in a second. Uh, but it would be nice if we can get a little further. There's a, some tougher enemies coming up. I I'll can just try and show you the parry I could, stuff. Oh, which did totally oh, didn't work there. Just get yourself knocked off. Do it. See? Not, not good. I could definitely see if you had to start through everything over and over again, it being extremely frustrating. But. Cool combat kind of looks, I don't know. It reminds, I was telling Jeff, it reminds me of uh, Die by the Sword, which was an old PC game that tried to do kind of fake hyper-realistic fighting. It's So it's weird, yeah. In that way, I, I kind of like the characters have a lot of weight. Like when you're wearing armor, they clink around a lot. Like the ability to switch to like two hands on the sword seems kind of cool, but it also makes things a lot harder since you... Uh, don't have your, your shield What is the anymore. triangle? What is the switch when it says there? So that's when I'm over stuff like that? Yeah. Uh, it just basically, if there are two things stacked on top of each other, like a blood oh, stain. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go up here. Ooh. You are very close to dead again. Yeah. That seems to happen a lot for me. So I'm going to switch back to my shield on this guy. So... If I don't have my shield on, I don't get that lunge attack. So that's why I keep my shield on a lot. Is that so are there stabs or staves, I guess? Yeah, so ba well, I've got my magic wand that I need to equip when I want to use uh, my fire spells. And so this guy over here is actually kind of tough. This is a like a blue, blue-eyed knight. And uh, he'll use healing potions and stuff like that. And he's, he'll block most of my shots with my sword if I just kind of straight up go after him. Uh, but what the nice thing is, he's, he's kind of got a problem with fire. So, like, about two hits with the fire, and usually I can take him down and just block them all, which he seems to be doing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> yeah, I do kind of like their crazy, uh, their crazy growling. Uh, the, the the way you walk around with about a third of your health and and you have all these healing items is is really well the, the, making the, me uneasy. The thing is, like, you will run out of them, and then when you have run out of them uh -huh. and you're died, you've died, and you're back to zero souls, you're basically almost at this stage of the game, better off starting from the st like over again Ugh. because because you've lost all your potions. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. That could be very annoying. So last night uh, I was playing. And basically, I had about 6,000 souls. And you can see I've only okay. got about Watch 600 out. right now. Uh, I died. And I had to go corpse run, though, or find my bloodstain to get the uh, the rest of my souls. And I died on the way to them. And uh -huh. I think they were lost for good, which was a huge bummer. Ooh. So, like, if you don't target them, that lunge is not as effective. Because you can just lunge right do you, off. Do you feel like you're hindered by the controls or the camera at all? Or... Do you think it's just hard? I think it's hard, but the camera definitely doesn't help. Uh, the fact that like you can get caught in walls here with the camera, like stuff like this, is, is not good. I could see it being a really big problem if you're fighting multiple enemies at once, because that lock-on system will not like, yeah. help. <laughs> so let's see what this guy says. Attack! Sure. Yeah, that was helpful. Yeah, I'm sure that did something down there. Maybe open the door. There's weird stuff like that. So, like, basically right now, I'm, I'm going downstairs to look for a lever that'll open up the gate to the boss. Uh, and if I can get there, I can make it to the boss really quickly from the start of this dungeon. So it's kind of like Zelda in that way, 
where like you trigger this thing that oh. makes it so that when you start the dungeon over, you can walk like two steps. Oh, oh, oh god. Nice. You pushed them off. Yeah, I'm gonna just try and bring these guys. Fire. <laughs> See, now I'm out of mana. Uh, That's all right. You've got lots of faith, Vinny. But uh, I'm going to use one of my potions that use I started that, with. Use that wand. Pew! Pew! Uh, Laser. Also, kind of a bummer, the targeting doesn't go very far, so they actually kind of have to be relatively close to you. Oh, oh, oh. He doesn't oh. seem to... Did that guy have fall damage? Or is he just... Uh, yeah, they will take fall damage. But they don't... They don't necessarily instantly die. Where you would if you play. Uh, it depends on your dexterity. Uh -huh. uh, the higher your dexterity. <laughs> th see, that's the other weird thing about targeting. Oh. Is, oh, so there you go. So I died. I will lose all my souls. Great. And yeah. I would have to run all the way back to my bloodstain. But will those enemies be back there? Or do you yes. just need to... So we have to fight through the entire thing. I have basically started okay. the game over. All right. Yeah. So, looked no, like a uh, fun game. Uh, I'll load up my other character... Uh, yeah, so basically zero souls. And you have no potions. I've got all the potions that I had when I died. Right. Uh, but basically all the characters have repopulated and I have to fight through them again to get back to where okay. I was. So let's quit. Dude. From here. What? Like, oh. All right, let's just load up Vinalaeus. So Vinalaeus is almost five hours into the game and he has beat this boss, which okay. is great. So... Uh, like Yurt. I said back at the beginning, I was dead this... Not dead dead, first dead, which means I had the like, half hell thing. Right. Vinalaeus just beat the boss. He completed that objective, which gives him the big demon soul, which brings him back to life. So I'm back to life. I have full health. Uh, and I'm ready to start on the next area of the, uh, of the game. So basically, I'll be in the Nexus, which is the hub, the world hub. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh and this is where you have like your. Ooh. Is there any uh, so is there any main story? Like, do you do yeah, you have cutscenes and? Demon has souls, and you need you need them. But you, what's happening when you talk talk to somebody? Let me see what it's. Okay. Does, does this just this guy is the uh, blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls. Oh, okay. All right, that's not much of a story. Uh, he, I'll give you weapons. Yeah. And your so. Souls. You can also talk to him. Mm -hmm. And he'll tell you, whatever, he'll tell you stuff. But you got to repair your goods, mm -hmm. your equipment. You can upgrade your weapons or you can buy stuff. All take souls. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy is like a mule, so you can basically give... Hire him to... Well, no, you don't even have to hire him, it's free. He's ba or a bank, I should say. Yeah. It's more like a bank. So I can yeah. put items in him, take items back out, or leave him, which is probably a good idea. Uh... So, like I said, I, I beat the first world, which was this one, which we were just in. So you enter these worlds by looking at these uh, little busts. Uh, so now I have to find the second world to go uh, jump into that. So let's see if we can do that. So you can see my health is full, and I've actually upgraded and, this guy. And you have bit. more health on this guy, so the bar yeah. actually seems to move based upon... Because this guy's a warrior type. Yeah, and I dumped I dumped some points into his like endurance and stuff. And uh, Does, do you do you get any special combat stuff by being uh, like a knight? Uh, or is it same mechanics that you would have had if you were. Well, you can notice I don't have any magic, uh, and that's kind of a bummer. So what I'm looking for is that other headstone. So a lot of times the blood stains here, you watch them. It's just dudes who have fallen to their death. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. this game! Because yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, you literally could just kind of like, you know, you just fall and you yeah. die. <laughs> so, uh, it's insane. And then in, even in this Nexus, you have to corpse run to get your souls back. So I like watching a lot of the bloodstains of people... Just run around, falling off stuff. I wish you could leave like audio commentary with your, with your <laughs> death <laughs> instead of just a note. That would, you know, yeah, because you get I, well, that was me. I'm so lost. I left that note uh, <laughs> yesterday when I was looking for the next place to go. So they're persistent for a good deal of time. Like seems like it. I don't, I'm not really sure if it keeps logging me into the same like server. Maybe or something. it just gets if they get voted down, they'll disappear. Or I guess all you can it do is recommend. Yeah, you can only message, recommend yeah. it. Maybe the messages that don't get recommended they eventually disappear. go away or something. Uh, so no map that I have found yet. 
So I was running around this place looking for the uh, next spot to go. There you go. So, uh, oh, I got saved by this little platform. You were trying to kill yourself? No, I was actually trying to not fall off. Oh, you didn't know how to fall there. That's how you had to, that's how you get here? No, 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 no. Oh. I could have taken the steps, but All I went right. too far and fell off. Yes. So I'm going to jump into this next part, uh, and then we'll see if we die, because there is this other part that I have not experimented with, because with, I just got the stones for it, <laughs> or whatever, the, the item for it, yeah. I should say, which is if you want to recover yourself back to this full health living body, you can join other people's games and complete objectives. Uh, so that's the touchstone will bring you back to the Nexus. This is locked. No. So do you play with them at that point? See, like, I haven't done it yet because they're really hard to get, or you had to get yeah. past that first part to get, which you mm -hmm. saw it took me five hours to do. So let's... Uh, what? I don't Ooh, know. Somebody... That somebody really doesn't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so like sometimes those those like hints are cool. Uh -huh. They'll help you out a bit. Oh gosh! Oh, watch out! So I'm actually just gonna die on purpose from this guy, which I don't think will be too hard considering he's taking out half of my health per hit. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, kind of Cthulhu-y. Oh. oh. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So there you go, I died. Awesome. Uh, let's try out this crazy... Uh, so you get two sets of, of these uh, items. There's a, like a white one and a black one. The black one apparently is like, do you want to join Jeff's game and like do bad objectives? Like kind of kill him or hunt him down or use the white one and do good objectives. So you died and I noticed your, your health dropped down. Yep. So like... Each time you die, it'll keep dropping. No, this is now like a res sickness kind of thing. Right. Where like, since I'm in the spirit form, until I do one of these objectives, yeah. I will have gimped health. Right. Which is lame because, or I should so say lame, really, which is really hard because yeah. one of the objectives is beat this dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, let's go into my inventory and go. Hey, you like some old spice? Let's go use the uh, blue stone or the white eye stone. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's the blue stone, or I thought there was another one here. <laughs> See, I, I will say the items look horrible. You don't like them? No, it looks yeah, like but... it looks like I was taking pictures of uh, a geology book with my iPhone <laughs> <laughs> and uh, cropping the stuff out. So if I succeed in helping the summoner defeat a demon, I'll get my body back using this one, right? So like. This is like basically helping somebody beat the end boss if I use this one, and I'll, I'll do well here. Uh, let's try one of these other ones. I thought I had a, a black one. The white one looked like it was for kicking people out of your game. This one? Yeah. I thought I could have sworn I got a different one. Maybe or or to get out of someone else's game or something. Yeah, I have a very loose understanding of what's happening here. Uh, that's the boss I beat. I so. think we should go to Juness and find some... <laughs> Other uh, items. Okay. Well, let's, let's just try this thing because <laughs> I haven't actually tried this yet. So I think this is a. I, I guess we have to wait for somebody to come and be like, "Hey, this guy wants to help me fight some dude." I don't think we're gonna wait around for that. I think. Uh, kill kill the octopus man. You can do it. Sure. Let's try and kill the octopus guy, and then I think we call it. This game's hard. I'll be honest, this looks like a game that I, I will pick up in that weird time in, uh, you know, like winter, like, yeah. you know, post-winter, post-Christmas time, when there aren't that many games. Oh, gosh. I, I, would, I would be the masochist that would love to. I've got, I've got this bow on. I kind of want to use it. Whoa. All right. So, uh, Demon's Souls. If you hate yourself uh -huh. and you want to spend time alone, <laughs> I don't know. I, there's something intriguing about it, and like I'll probably continue checking it out. It's a neat out. idea. Like going into someone else's game is like, yeah. a, you know, like, I think like those the, are neat ideas, but everything about the part where you play it. The re I think the <laughs> death penalty stuff is ridiculous. It's That looks ridiculous. Well, considering that like souls seem to be everything in this game, losing them all is terrible. Yeah, I, yeah. 
Uh, so like there's my blood stain again, and I think you can tell the one that was further along from the first time I died is gone. Is gone. Oh. So I just recovered zero souls. Oh. So those 800 souls I had. I, oh man, I took that <laughs> one in the back. Uh, so I've got this crossbow on, and if I could target him, which yeah, I think he's too far away because I keep clicking the stick. There we go. I could try and stay away from him and just kite him. I could try. This guy seems to want to run a little further. <laughs> all right, all so, right. Uh, man. There you go, guys. <laughs> uh, there's demon souls. I, like I said, I really uh, about five hours in. I don't have the greatest understanding of all the mechanics that are happening after here. five hours. Like to not yeah. be in that place after five hours of play says a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm sure some people have made it through that first dungeon way faster, but the game doesn't really hold your hand very much. It pretty much dropped you in here, right. and it's like, all right, go. See what you got. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I swing the sword, run. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why is my why is my health like half this whole time? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's tough. It's <laughs> tough. It's really it's, it's really hard. It makes me yeah. it makes me kind of bummed out. And all the the menus and item stuff looks a little janky. But, but uh, I yeah. think. <laughs> but I, I think could this dungeon could be way too hard for me. I don't know. Somebody yeah. should have left a message that says. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is not for you. <laughs> but what would you do otherwise? Like, uh, this is level two, right? No, there's a hug. Go play Dungeon so, Siege. Oh, okay, so <laughs> when I beat the first one, it opened up two other worlds. This okay. and I think another one. Uh, some of them you'll go up to and be like, this isn't unlocked yet. Uh, okay. So let's just leave a message that says, uh, beware of... Uh, the, beware the of the message. Octopus Man. Ahead. There you go. There you go. Now we've left our message. <laughs> uh, our fingerprint on the game. Video form. No. Uh, also, there's this thing I guess I should mention, which is the world tendency, which I, again, don't have a great understanding of, but uh, areas will turn black, gray, or white, depending on things that are happening there. Uh -huh. uh, and like different areas will be open in that world, depending on its tendency, as I understand it. So if it's a black tendency, like, like gates may be open or something, like different mm. gates may be open or stuff like that. There's like a lot of stuff going on that's not very really explained all that well. I feel like, uh, but again, it's you know I'm waiting to turn that corner in this game where I'm like, oh yeah, man, <laughs> dude, it is great. Like my dude's got the greatest sword ever, but that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. So children by that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you I'll go. Have, I'll have a big long beard. Demons souls. Hey, this guy's got something good. Uh, thanks for thanks for joining me. Yeah. <laughs> thanks Sorry, for man. thanks for the warning. <laughs>